incredible. I never had a tub that went up and down. I usually had to go down to them, you know? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using a bathing system. So we're going to just, we've got about two gallons of water in there, and we're going to go 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, okay. 3, 1,000. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. That should be enough. Now, I usually do something much stronger under the ears because under ears are greasy. One of the things that you're going to find with the shampoo, though, is it's really strong. I mean, it may seem like there's not a lot getting in there, but as soon as you actually dry the dog, you're going to, it's, it's amazing. Well, it whips very nicely. It gets right in that hole. I like that. It has a nice feel to it. Too sudsy. Another thing too is, you know, for bathing systems, we tried to make it so it's low sudsing, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that's that. very important. Yeah. Now when I bathe, what I like to do is just start in little sections, and I just keep working it in that section until I feel clean. And I can already start to feel the, the hair squeak. Oh, good. Yeah. I like the feel. Do you? Yeah. Good. Mm. The volume that you're going to see come off of this, too, is pretty incredible. So being in Florida, I'm definitely looking forward to volume. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things about this shampoo that's going to be a lot different than others is it puts back things that most of the shampoos take out. I mean, salts and minerals. Uh, it's got a lot of great things for the skin. Coidal silver, aloe vera, um, one of the Epsom salt. Um, it's got uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, water-soluble apple cider vinegar. So, I mean, it's just all around. And, and you can use it on any breed, whether it's a profuse coat, a wire coat, a palm, um, a no coat, because again, it's going to hit all areas. Very high on the acid side of the pH, which is really important if you want to get that good natural sun shine that's going to last a long time. Okay, so we put about a, less than a dime size of conditioner and just kind of working this into the coat. Now, this is where I knew need it. Pants, feathers. Every place it breaks, yes. it's dried, and you get that really super dull. Chest, anything that you're going to have trouble combing out. Not that you would have trouble, but you could break it as you right. comb. Can go a little in the tail too. Traditional conditioners are a, a larger molecule that are going to sit on the surface and protect the coat. This is going to go inside and hydrate. So it's not going to have, even if you have like a wiry coat, it's going to be good for that. What about eyes? Is this... uh, it won't hurt the eyes. It's hyperallergenic. It's scent free. It's dye free. Um, That's wonderful. Yeah. The, the, as a matter of fact, the lab kept saying, well, we need to pick a scent. And I'm saying, no, I want it completely free of all that stuff. And when I taught my seminar in Rhode Island, I even put it to them. I says, okay, guys, um, the lab is saying we need to pick a scent, and uh, I'm not for picking a scent, and they totally agree. And, uh, I totally agree, because yeah. you never know when you're going to end up with an allergic reaction. Right. And it's almost, you know, people forget. Everybody grins the top of the dog. And I tell them, turn it over. There's a whole other side on the <laughs> underside. And it, this is the spots where you're going to have trouble if you lose stuff in, under the armpits, under the legs, down the little private. You groom so many Newfoundlands a year at some of the higher profile shows. What, what is something that you could tell people that, you know, if you were going to come in and groom their dog, what could they do to prep it to make sure that it's going to make your end result look even better. My end result, well, first thing is, get it clean. Absolutely clean. So the right shampoo is going to With be a right huge shampoo. factor. Yeah. And the right kind of conditioner on it, and have a coat of excellent shape. Now, the conditioner, that's a whole topic by itself, because people think a conditioner is just, you know, if it says conditioner, that's a conditioner. But there are topical conditioners, there's conditioners that work on the inside to hydrate. Um, there's a lot to, to look into that category, just like the shampoos. And like I said, this conditioner is unlike anything else that's out there, as you'll see when, 
when you get the dog dry. It's not going to weigh the coat down, heavy oils or anything like that that's in it. And that's what I really like. Because usually I don't put anything on the head mm -hmm. in the poop because it gets really down. Right. And the ears are the same way. That's very, very, very light fur. Comb your dog to the skin before you bathe. Yes. Otherwise, how do you get the shampoo to the skin? I have people that bathe right sprayed right over the mat. Now you have ten times the problem getting the mats out that you would have before while they were dry. Oh, this is my new secret weapon for the mats. <laughs> well, you know, I was hoping you were going to really like this. When it comes to Newfoundlands, I don't think there's anybody else that knows coat better than you, so. Uh, double coated. My specialty. They're so clumped together. Can you see them in there? See yeah. the little crimp? Yeah. Those are stuck together. And look, look at this coat I know. Now Beautiful. when we separate all of that, can you imagine what that's going to look yeah, like? Yeah, that's going to be incredible volume. It is. And all of those curls are gone. Yeah, because of the hydration. So the corgis that have the, the, the curly rears, or right. your Shelties, and your Golden Retrievers, I mean, this is going to be phenomenal for all those things. I could go into the ring right now. Yeah. This is amazing. I've never had a shampoo do anything like this. Oh. But it just keeps getting better and better. Is this amazing? I haven't had it do any. I've never had a shampoo, and I believe me, I've tried them most. Yeah. Almost all of them. Well, this is like no other shampoo in the world. The conditioner, you know, I know a lot of people say that, but here's the proof in front of us. Sign me up for five gallons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Sign me up for five gallons. I've <laughs> got to have some shipped in a couple of places. That is beautiful. That it's is like a different good. dog already. It is. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at this head. I mean, I've got a head now that's twice the size of the one I had before. And that's why I was saying before not to worry about, and I, and I appreciate you trusting me with the conditioner because most conditioners you would not get hair and results like this. I mean, it would be laying down and you're working your butt off to try to get some volume. Well, I know one thing. Many products have to be used together. Yes. They work well by themselves, but right. not as well as they do together. Now, the other, on, on that note there too, is a lot of times I see people where they'll try to mix and match, where they may have other shampoos and then they go in there and they try to use this conditioner with their shampoo or this shampoo with the other conditioner and they expect to get the same results and that won't happen because you know the ingredients that are in here are meant for this to be used as a system but it's the, the only makes the difference yes who knows what the other shampoos are right and you know a lot of times you're fighting against what this is trying to accomplish and this shampoo you know realistically you will only need one shampoo, one conditioner, one finishing spray for any breed out there because it will enhance the genetic quality of whatever breed you're using it on, as you can see here. That's incredible. I mean, that is just incredible. Wow. Well, I don't know if I'll have to use any of your other products. I right? know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, so much for the texture crystal demo. Oh no, extra crystals right yeah. here. <laughs> you have two different kinds of coat needs, wow. and you're supposed to have a level top one, you know? Hey, if you see the dog wet, you see she has a perfectly level top one. Yeah, it looks now, gorgeous. When you're fighting with coat, it doesn't always look that way. Wow. So you have straight and neat curl. Huh? I think I should probably shut the camera off, because all they're going to get is okay. wow. <laughs> Look at that head. That head is just yeah, I amazing. I haven't even gotten most of it yet. I'm going to go out and... That's incredible. Wow. You're beautiful. <laughs> yes, you are. You're a good girl.